Now that we have our sketch block created inside of our swing arm assembly, let's move forward by inserting a part. From our assembly tab, you notice that we have an insert components dropdown. You can simply click insert components or you can select the dropdown and see what options you have. We can insert components, create a new part, create a new assembly, or copy with mates. In this case, we want to insert components. You'll have to browse for your components, and in this case, go into your chapter nine directory and locate the dog bone. Now the dog bone is going to be located inside our assembly. Now there are a few things that you need to know. If you manually place this in your assembly, you're going to be selecting its location. If that location sticks to a face or other components, you're going to be placing a mate between those two. If you simply want to place it at the component origin as it relates to the assembly origin, you can simply say OK in the window and it'll place it without applying any mates. But you will notice the first component, as it's listed in our tree, has a small F next to it inside of parentheses. This means that our component is fixed and unable to move. Now this is the standard for the first component that's inserted into assembly. You simply need to right click on it and select float and that frees it up and allows us to move it around freely inside of our assembly. If you already have components open in SOLIDWORKS, for instance, the parts you've been working on, you can simply go to Insert Components and they will be located inside of the Open Document section. Now, currently we don't have any documents open, so we aren't able to see those. Let's go ahead and save our file by doing a Save As, rebuild the document, and save it as Swing Arm Assembly 2.